Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as Classification of Leukemia White Blood Cell Cancer Using Image Processing and Machine Learning which is an enhancement from the IEEE base paper title which is Lightweight Efficient Net B3 Model Based on Depth Wise separable convolutions for enhancing classification of leukemia white blood cell images which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so leukemia is one of the blood cancer which especially affects the white blood cells so as we all know that the blood cancer is one of the dangerous disease for the human being because it is a life-threatening disease so the yearly stages of the identification of the leukemia white blood cell cancer detection will help for the diagnosis of the patient so there are various types of uh, classifications available on this leukemia white blood cell cancer images but we are going to see about four classifications in our proposed system so here in the base paper the authors have implemented using the model called efficient net b3 but we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about our proposed system so here in the proposed system so we are going to classify the leukemia white blood cell cancer using the image processing and machine learning using the matlab so in the abstract first part it is defined about that and after that let us see about the accuracy that we have achieved so we have achieved the accuracy rate of 97 percentage so the classification methodology that we have used is kn and that is k nearest neighbor algorithm and uh, here in our proposed workflow there are several stages available so first one is image acquisition then pre-processing then segmentation feature extraction classification and performance analysis so in every stages there are many sub stages available you can see that one in pre-processing we have several sub process like normalization contrast enhancement and noise removal and in normalized result you can see about the contrast enhancement images and denoise representations of time the segmentation phase it has like color segmentation initial segmentation and final detection of cancer cell nucleus region so after that in the feature extraction we have uh, various stages where statistical color information extraction is conducted on RGB channels and calculation of mean and standard deviation is done. Additionally, texture features such as contrast, correlation and energy and homogeneity are extracted. The final features are constructed based on feature extracted features and then applied to the KN algorithm. So as mentioned, we have four classes in it. So that is ALLL1, ALLL2, AML M2 and AML M5. So here ALL stands for acute limboelastic leukemia and AML means acute myeloid leukemia. So that has been the classes of this ALL and AML. So these are the four classes classification that we are going to classify in our model. So this is all the things is mentioned in the abstract part. So before seeing the next part, let me show you about the data set part. So here in the train images, you can see the images that we are going to train up, which contains the AL, L and AML images. So we have not used any specific data set here because there is no uh, data specific data set available for getting the ALML. So we are taken from the internet resources only randomly and coming to the existing system of this document you can see that we, the base paper is considered as the existing system so it is mentioned about the efficient net B3 architecture in it. 
and here you can see the disadvantages of the existing system so these are the disadvantages of the existing system is listed out here and coming to the proposed system as mentioned so we are going to do about the various image processing and machine learning model has been done here in the those deals have been mentioned in the proposed system and these are all the advantages of proposed system so the advantage of proposed system has been listed out here and coming to the system architecture so input images as given and pre-processing feature selection has been and knm classifier is applied and classifier results are all l1 all l2 aml m2 and m5 is being displayed here and uh, finally the performance analysis and graph part is shown so here you can see about the modules of the project which contains the image acquisition model pre-processing model segmentation model feature extraction classification and performance analysis model so the, the model description is being listed out here detailed and coming to the system architecture these are the hardware and software requirements as mentioned we are developing using matlab and the tool that we are using is matlab or 2023b and this is the reference of the project that is the base paper of the project so now let us see the execution of the project so first go to the source code location so this is into the source code location just copy this location now open matlab or 2023b just go to the address bar and paste the location that we have copied and click enter so now in the left side panel you can see the the data is the, the, the complete data of the source code has been loaded so make sure that in the source code folder we have a file called train in uh, excel file so just open it and make sure that it is in a readable format because when you are downloading from other source you can see this it is not in a readable format it is showing that enable editing so just click this enable editing and save it so that the system will not throw any error while executing the project so now just select this final dot m and run it so after some time you can see this gui of the project with the project title classification of leukemia white blood cell cancer using image processing and machine learning so first let me go with the test image select like the test image I'll go to the test image folder and let me select an image. So this is the test image and next let me go for the pre-processing. So in the pre-processing we have normalized result, contrast enhancement result and noise removal result. So let me click the continue part for the next phase. So here you can see the segmentation. So just click the segmentation process. So here in the segmentation, so there are various sub process that is color segmentation is made and initial segmentation is made and then final cancer cell nucleus region detection is made and cancer cell nucleus reduction result is shown here and finally nucleus region extracted result is displayed here. And now let me go for the next phase. Just click this continue. So here you can see the feature extraction part. So just click this feature extraction. So now you can see the nucleus regions and statistical color feature extraction where it contains R channel, G channel, B channel. So each mean and standard deviations is also displayed over other in the in the, in the concern images. And here you can see the texture feature extraction. So texture feature extraction result is shown with the contrast, correlation, energy and homogeneity values displayed here. And now let me go for and continue. And here you can see the final phase that is the classification. Just click this classification. So now final feature vector is being displayed and finally classification result ba based on KNN shows the printed classes 1. So which is means that classified result is ALLL1. So the image that we have applied is also be shown here. And finally let us calculate the performance analysis. So just click this performance analysis. So here you can see the accuracy precision sensitivity specificity value so the accuracy is 97 percentage precision is 96.7213 sensitivity is 98.3333 
specificity is 95 percentage and kindly note that this performance analysis values will remain the same for any images whatever we are giving so it does not change according to the images it is based on the model that we have developed only so it will not change for the images that we only the classification results change according to the images that we are giving this is a static one because this is being calculated based on the model that we have developed so now let me close it and let me run it again to show you with the other case so now let me go to test image now let me select uh, say another image and go for pre-processing so you can see the pre-processed image and go for continue go for the segmentation process and all the segmentation process is done here for this image and click continue and now let me go for the feature extraction and all the feature extraction process which is explained uh, is displayed here and continue and finally let us classify this and you can see the final feature vector and also classification result but this time is predicted class 2 classification re result is ALL L2 so as mentioned the, the accuracy values are going to remain same so we are not going to check that so now let me run it again and give the test image and go with the other image and click pre-processing so all the pre-processing steps are done and we click continue and go for the segmentation and you can see the each and every segmentation process which is done and then click continue and go for the feature extraction so what are the feature extraction nucleus region statistical color feature extraction texture features is being done and click continue and now let us go for the classification result so you can see the final feature vector has been calculated and the classification result based on the predicted classes 3 which means classified result is AMLM2 so now let me run it again and give the test image and click pre-processing So you can see the normalized result, contrast enhancement result, noise removal result. Click continue and go for the segmentation. So all the segmentation process is done. And continue, go for the feature extraction. So nucleus region extraction, statistical color feature extraction, texture feature extraction is done and click continue. And go for the classification and now you can see the final feature vector and classification result, the predicted class 4 that means classified result AML M5. So I have shown you with the all four classes of uh, ALL L1, ALL L2, AML M2 and AML M5. So I have shown you with the each images with the all the classes. So you can check with the other images that is available in the test and train folders and you can see the performance analysis here. And now let me close this. And this is all about the project classification of leukemia white blood cell cancer using image processing and machine learning using MATLAB and thank you for watching.